Welcome to Yates Makes. I'm back with more gel plate printing techniques. This week, focusing on how useful mount board is for making kind of stencil, collagraph stamps. Not really sure how to describe them, um, but been using them loads, and they offer quite a lot of versatility. Certainly more than paper stencils in some ways. Um, I'll also talk you through some of the other techniques I've been using to put a little piece together, some image transfer reminders that I've covered in other videos as well. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, here's a few of the stencils I've been using, like leaf plant shapes work really nicely, especially sort of tropical shapes. Number and letter based shapes work really well. Geometric shapes, arrows, kind of signage inspired stuff as well. Okay, so the massive advantage in using mount board over paper for your stencil, collagraph, stamps, whatever we're calling them, is that it's quite robust and you can reuse them. They take acrylic paint really well, which is great. Now, quick tip, here's me cutting a little sign. If you keep both the positive and negative, try and cut it out neatly, you can get kind of double the action if you like. So, here, um, where you've got a negative space that you might want to keep and make an inverse, you know, just mount it up on a base plate and a presto, there you go, you've got a kind of doubled up image there. All right, so look, we're ready to print. So the first advantage with mount board is that it's rigid. So if you press hard, you can really disturb the acrylic. If you press a little lighter, you can get a nice clean graphic image as I'm doing in this example. Right, next advantage, paper stencils are a nightmare to peel off. But look, because they're rigid and because your jelly plate is flexible, pick it up, pinch it, angle it, you can peel the thing straight off. Okay, the next thing I've been really enjoying about these quite clean graphic shapes is they look great in contrast, aesthetically, with more expressive hand-drawn areas. So, for example here, I'm using the China Graph pencil, China Graph acting as a resist to the acrylic, um, to do some sort of freehand lettering. And this I'm going to transfer in a section next to where I've used one of my mount board stencils. So there's the print plate kind of prepared with a, another couple of graphic details, the double arrow um, inverted in blue. Um, so let's ink up, see how this pulls off with one wet layer of kind of yellow and white inked up in sections. So that's a pretty thin even layer of wet paint there to pull this print left it for about a minute, probably should have let the layers dry a little more, but you can see how well the kind of graphic works against the expressive and more kind of fractured, peeled textures that you just naturally get with a jelly plate, which is why we all love them. Okay, I'll throw in a little extra tip, um, just for any of you that are interested and just to see where this bit of work ended up. Um, so. The little narrative element um, to this piece involved some sort of symbolism surrounding the fish. So I've hand drawn some, I've just been really enjoying lately, some uh, fine pen kind of illustrative techniques. Um, so I've drawn a couple of fish. These I've then scanned, resized on Photoshop and got laser prints of ready to transfer with my label backing sheets. If you haven't come across this technique before, I'm linking a video which kind of fairly thoroughly covers techniques and a few different surfaces. I'm linking a video up above now. That should give you some help if you're interested. But basically it involves laser printing your images onto the waxy side of label backing paper, applying the image where you want it with some gel medium let it dry, peel it up, and it should leave your image fixed to the surface. So there you go, there's one done, and messing around here with a bit of kind of placement, not too sure where I'm putting these. A little more tissue collage in the background, just break up some of those shapes a little. 
a bit of blue to go with the orange and isolate from my laser printout the piece that I want to transfer again gel medium nice thin layer but make sure you've done an even kind of coverage so it makes contact everywhere stick it down leave it a couple of hours peel it up and should be good to go um, pleased with that one not too sure which way up it goes maybe that way um, maybe that way I think that way <laughs> Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Plenty to think about there. Um, drop any thoughts, comments below. Remember, if you liked the video, if you got something from it, please comment, share, like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again for another video soon. Take it easy. Ta-da.